Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss, and welcome to Mad Father. This is another remake of the original game that was released all the way back in the early 2010s. But we're not going to be interested in the normal mode, even though that does have some changes within the puzzle mechanics and some new lore. But we're interested in this. Blood mode, which could be inspired by the Witch's House MV's extra mode. But let's see what we have here. Experience new terrors in a different scenario. Let's go with this then. Start from the prologue. Don't want to mess about. Yes, please. Warning. This game contains sceneries and imagery. Okay. <laughs> you guys have read that. I'm sure you're already aware of all of this. Oh, we're at the house. Maria! Look at this apple. It's so strange, isn't it? Welcome back, mistress. My, what a strange kind of an apple house. Yes, pink. I was on my way home when an old lady in a black hood gave it to me. I wouldn't eat it if I were you. A black hood? That sounds awfully suspicious. I wonder what it tastes like. I wouldn't eat it. Mistress, you mustn't. Don't put such a thing in your mouth. I guess you're right. But I just want to check. Well, cut it open first. You know how you would normally eat an apple. Great. Is this why they call this blood mode? Mistress. Ah, mistress. What rashness. Please hang on, mistress. You're just like your father. Oh, are we reliving these events? Hmm, is this my room? I wonder, did I die? Mission, explore the room. Only difference being is that we're now... <laughs> Gosh, tips. Gems are hidden in various places, some required during special events to get. You can see your gem count in the menu. Find them all and something might happen. One of twenty. Lovely days. Your favourite doll. My favourite doll. The doll father gave me. How nostalgic. Sorry for leaving you to sit here all alone. Definitely is a dreamscape. A nightmare of the past. Even this portrait is the same as back then. Mom. I'm here now because you protected me. Thank you. Are you still watching over me now? Mother's portrait. Okie okay, and Snowball! Snowball, to think I'd get to meet you again. This reincarnation anyway. Sleeping, huh? It's been so lonely without you. I guess the fact that you're here must mean this is the afterlife, right? Or is there a curse at work, like there was back then? Oh? The room feels cold all of a sudden. Just like that night. The night my fate changed forever. Yeah, I read it backwards. And there is that father scream. I wonder if that scream was explore the room? Absolutely. But now we have more pressing matters. Maybe I'll get to meet him. Maybe we would. Maybe we wouldn't. Well. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Hey, these zombies again, but they're more like phantoms. Get away from me. I don't want to you. It's like a recreation of that night. This way. Okay, Dio. That voice. You know this time to trust the voice. You know his intentions. Intentions. You have one from back then. This way. Always wants to meet you. I never forgot for a second. Stay with me. I still remember my promise with you. I said this way. Wait. Hmm. It definitely is a recreation of the past. If I'd run away with him then, I wonder how my future might have changed. Hi there. <laughs> You're totally unfazed by them. Some very interesting books you have here, as ever. Who? Ogre or Nigawara in another game. It's been a while, young lady. So he knows what's happened. Mister, so you did survive. 
Who else? Am I in the afterlife? We appear to be in a space born of someone's strong emotions. Your soul has been trapped here. At this rate, you may be unable to return to your own world. I don't want that. Mario will be left all alone. Then why did you bite into that apple? How did you know about that? <laughs> what a funny girl. Your soul still straddles, in, straddles the line of life and death. If you wish to escape from here, destroy that which created this space. What created this space? Such a strange guy, as usual. So, aside I uh, an, an ogre, I keep calling him Onigawara, um, things are going to replay as exactly the same events as back then. The thing creating the space, could it be Aya? I'm being called for. Help me. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it on. Talk to crows to save your current progress throughout the story. There are ga game ending traps abound in the abnormal mansion, so be sure to save regularly. Thanks for that! Not like I already knew already, but still, don't worry. Surely, if you. Not phase at all. Give back my daughter. I'm sorry to hear about your daughter's disappearance. A diary. Let's see. The same as before. Uh, I've already read this number of times. <laughs> hmm. Yep, same story. It's almost as if Aya was still a child. Hmm. I don't remember the code to unlock it. Locate hint for safe code. It's like 4270, I believe it was. But we shall play the game as if we don't know. Hi. Who might you be on the couch? The clock has stopped at midnight. Nice that you appear in a way that means that um, we did something for you to spawn rather than them just randomly spawning. Hi. You may giggle, but we know you'll giggle. Don't think we don't know your secrets, little one. That's locked. Okay, we need that. Uh, this opens up later on. Uh, you have to play normal mode in order to unlock blood mode. So, that's the only reason why I know that. Let's see. Hmm, what's in here? What's going to be different this time around? In the father's mansion. Yeah, I said it. Father's mansion, not witch's mansion. Witch's heart, witch's house. However you want to call it. Surely I'll be tall enough by now to reach out. Got an old key, lovely. And... Definitely is a recreation. So, I feel like I just heard a voice. Sure did. Hmm. We need that. We need to do that. Hello, a powerfully moving painting. Oh. Nicely done. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. It was more of a time sequence back then. The painting was hiding a cylinder lock safe. I can't open this without a key. Maybe we do have the key for this. Let's see, old key. There we go. Lovely days. Open reception room safe. And we got ourselves a wonderful dagger. And with this, we need to go to the clothing room. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Now, Aya, that's no good. You can't treat living things like toys. Why not? Because it'll cause you pain. I'm not hurting anywhere, anyone, though. You're not hurting anywhere. I read that Ron again. Are you hurting, father? You'll know what pain I mean when you're older. And when you're hurt, Aya, it hurts me too. If only if you're alive in this realm to see that pain. That little bird's crying in pain, you see. How should I make the pain go away? You said I'm sorry to the bird. Go on. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Remnants of the past. Unexpected as well, but lovely nonetheless. Let's see, what have we got over here? Changing room, that's nice, nice. Oh, what's in here? 
but it been open before. And a horrified image opened up from the mirror. And no, it's not us. A worn out yet wonderful dress. I've always wanted to wear a dress like this. I wonder if Mario would make me one. I don't know. Cool, cool. Got cloth. Excellent. Excellent days, or you toppled over. Hmm. Are you... Thought so. <laughs> Make that out of that. Let's see. Get this quickly. Before the demon spawns from the toilet. There we go. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Okay. Mario's... Wait, this is already opened? I thought you had to unlock this. Maybe that boy will not appear, so therefore there might be a different uh, gem mechanic. Uh, already read this. Or maybe because we're more acquainted with Mario, therefore we don't need to open up her room in the normal way. Or in this case, this at all. We know what's happened to Mario. Because we're now adult, does this mean that the things will treat us differently because we were said child would now be vicious towards us? The doll is broken. You would normally be sitting on the sofa. So how dare you try and do that to me? Okay. We've got cloth. What's our current mission? Uh, locate hit for safe code. Um... Let's see, what can we do around here that's different? It's not entirely the same as normal mode on this build of a game. Let's see. Got a gem, lovely. Oh, somebody picked their head through. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> and splatters. Okay. Avoid the vicious doggy dog. Right. Won't try and pick that up for the moment. Oh. Good. Got some firewood. When I originally played this game last night, that firewood was one thing that was preventing me from proceeding through the game because I didn't even know to pick it up. Okay, so now that the dog's done that, let's see. You've got the gem. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Hmm. I remember getting the code quite early on, so... Oh yeah, there's... Okay, we've already been at the doll room. Already been over to the left. Already been in both rooms over here. So... Oh yeah, the archives. My bad. <laughs> One thing we've forgotten to unlock. Lovely. Good. Open the lock. And that child is no longer going to phase us, because A, we're an adult, and B, we know it's going to happen. The flame egg. Lovely days. As I said, we've read through this at least twice already in previous playthroughs. Gather torch materials. Hmm. Although I would say that um, Aya is not commentating as much. Maybe because she knows what's going to happen. Or as much as she remembers, anyways. The one who made this space. Maybe it definitely is... Um... Alfred drove us in a way. <laughs> Killed a bird. Just like the rest of the page is unreadable. Could be related towards Aya. Okay. Ogo, what are you doing there? Data on live experimentation... Got a little note there. Code memo. Aha, that's where the code memo is. Hi. Mama, it hurts. Help me. Help. I remember you too. Ah, don't worry. I'll take you to Mama. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. No longer spooked. It's no less horrific now that we're not scared. Oh, there's a strange noise. Okay, okay. Let's see. Something should be coming its way here soon. But we've got to avoid its light. Just like in the previous builds of the game. Hmm. But how do you spawn in, though? That's the problem. 
Ah, here we go. So we need to hide here, and then it will charge through. There we go. It's light ends there. Good. Investigate the strange noises. Get away from me. Horrific maid. You're definitely going to be fired by the end of the day. And that's me giving you, uh, <laughs> some mercy. Let's see. Uh, pendant. This is her pendant. Hey there, little one. Mama. Clarina. Mama. Didn't she have a different name? Maybe it's my imagination. Got gem. A diary. I've already read this diary. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so it must be eight. There we go, lock opened. <laughs> Just remember from my previous playthrough, going through this game last night in normal mode. Got lamp. And mom's perfume. Mom's perfume. I'll take it as a good luck charm. Alright, mom? You know very well we need it later on for another purpose. A anti-rat purpose. Hmm, firewood cloth. Now we just need to... What is our next objective? <laughs> Mission! There we go. So we need to head down there. And... Investigate this huge pile of dolls. It was a huge monstrosity, but now it's just a big pile of dolls. A pile of discarded dolls blocks away. This could be, in a way, all of the discarded pieces that Alfred Drevis has just simply abandoned over the years of ex experimentations. And I saw one of them move just there. So no thank you. Full of oil. Okay, so we'll put some firewood in it. You'd have all the materials to use this. Well, for goodness sakes. Ah, yes, we need to go down here. We need to use the lamp. Hmm. Yikes, it's pitch black. Oh, the lamp. Oh, the lovely lamp. Ah, the objects inside are blocking the door. So this is slightly different. A hole that is in the way. I couldn't fit in there. But, you know Snowball can, but we couldn't pick up Snowball, right? Oh. Potato fell out of the barrel. Let's try and investigate Snowball again. But obviously, it's not. We're not going to be able to pick it up, right? Because we couldn't pick it up initially when we was in the bedroom. Or maybe this time we can actually, because we've gone past the um, the introduction. Yeah. I was trying to pick it up while still in the introduction, but we could come back here later on and then pick up Snowball. That was my bad. My bad, folks. I was just investigating Snowball too early to be able to make that connection. So, kitchen. To the wonderful basement. Okay, investigate storehouse, I understand. Snowball in here. Please, Snowball. But I don't wanna. Hi. Something's up with that power over there with the blood out of it. Hi. Oh. Picked it up. Okay, you didn't eat us, but... Okay. Investigate storehouse. Now we have ourselves the wire. Hmm, what exactly this wire does, I don't know. But I think we're okay. I think. Okay. Got torch. Okay, now all we need to do is light the torch. And remember that room where the eyeless girl was screaming about her lack of eyes? Let's go to that room and torch it with the fireplace. Oh, I don't know why I thought someone was sitting there. And 
We now have... It's not burning well. The cloth needs to be soaked. Oh, okay. Now, where would that be, oil? Find oil. I thought we were trying to soak it in. For goodness sakes. That's why I was trying to soak it in, but obviously that wasn't a good enough oil source like last time was. It needs to be soaked in oil. Okay, maybe I need to... Um... <laughs> what I need to do is put the cloth and the firewood together and then dip it in oil. My bad. These things go in an order after all. Light the torch. Lit the torch. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Head to underground lab. And you know what's going to happen if you played Madfather before. And what on earth is this? This writing is in German. Okay. A pile of discarded dolls blocks away. Yeah, I do want to burn them. I didn't realize that came on. There we go. Hey. Burn, scream in despair. It hurts. Help me. Sure does hurt. I wonder Monica's impression of adult Aya is going to be in this incarnation. Maybe she's going to think we're still a child. And I don't exactly blame her. Okay, mission. For 8 of 20 gems so far. Tools. Eerie <laughs> objects. Eerie objects. St that on the table. That on the table. That on the table. Okay, you fell off. Bottle of eyeballs. Excellent. Should we have more gems by now? Maybe not. Okay. This crow is our best companion. And Maria is not here. Maria, if anything should happen to me, then I trust everything to you. Please protect that girl in my steed. Be at ease, daughter. I shall protect the mistress's future. I shall let no one get in the way, not even your wife. <laughs> You've grown strong, my assistant. That's why you're my assistant. Hmm. Usually there'll be a key here. But not this time around. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Got gem. Oh, you broke out this time, moving no longer. You tried to escape, but a glass fractured your hopes. Okay, no events transpiring here. Oh. Oh, you're moving. But there's no body there. Hello. That's how you activate that. By thinking that you was in there, but no. You're just a mirage. Found it. Thanks, missus. This is our secret, second encounter. So this is definitely a sequel, but at the same time, it proceeds the same timeline. And you're crying. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see anything. That man took away my eyes. Help girl who lost her eyes. I feel like I heard her cry back in the reception room. Okay, there's no space to put the bottle through. God damn it, I understand. I, uh, I need to remove the text off the screen. Uh, we can't go there or there yet, so the only way forward is up. Ah, that familiar sound. The familiar creaking sound we would normally hear much earlier in the game. Good luck, Charms. You want the ones who you love to be happy, for this good luck charm does a trick. All you need is one thing, and this you must have it. It is love. Kiss someone's forehead with love and say a blessing. Then the spell of good luck will be cast upon them. Isn't that wonderful? Hmm. Just one healthy boy. Simple. Make bed covers a faded blue color. Then just pray every night before bed. This alone increases the chance of a birth in a boy. Isn't that wonderful? Whichever way you want to spin the wheel. A lovely doll with 
strange clothing. Okay, let's go up here and we should push this off to reveal a wonderful mini chainsaw. The best of them all. It's a chainsaw. How nostalgic. Was it always this small? Yes, it was. I suppose in um, in comparison to your original size when you was coming through here, it would be befitting rather than being small. But nowadays you need an adult chainsaw. Look, I just went up there, I uh, Stop reminding me of that. So this is how you get back here. And that sound is indicated when you can't use the chainsaw here. Hmm. Bottle of eyeballs. I think there's something else that we need throughout all of this. It's um, not a bucket of water, but something similar to that which puts out the fire. <laughs> Aye. Hmm. Thought so. That sound was so familiar. I remember where. I remember where the items were that we need to proceed onwards. Um, it's where the old man was on the other side of the scenario. So what do you guys think of this alliteration of Mad Father? Like, I was expecting like an entirely different scenario where it would be a different location and things would play out much different. Got fire retardant. There we go. And you, curse that youngster, doing everything the woman says and so deceived as not realize her true nature. That woman's going to create a demon. She's even crazier than the doctor. <laughs> well, whatever. What should I care, I suppose? You talking about me? How dare you call us even more demonic than our father? How dare you? Even though the father was one out of the two that did not want Aya to be like this. But I suppose these things happen. You can't just saw down the old man. No, that's, that's too simple. That's too much of a deduction that we cannot make for ourselves. I've always enjoyed Mad Father, but covering the game for a third time just gets a little, I don't know, repetitive in a way, but this, well, hi. But this is definitely different enough, layout, puzzle changes, but it's definitely worth doing again. But just in the, I say it's not a more difficult version of the game, but just a different iteration of the game under the same premise. Like, things aren't as scary this time because we're adult Aya rather than child Aya. Uh, how do I get those to her again? Fly retardant. Flame retardant, sorry. Fly retardant. I suppose it would put out a fly as well. Just by being soaked. Cool. Bottle of eyeballs. <laughs> we don't even see Aya in this. Even small eye cannot fit within the screen. Let's see now. Who do we have down hither? Not sure if this would be classified as a... I didn't see that before. What are you trying to do to me there? Hmm, I'm still a bit concerned about some of the... Gems, though. Would they be in different locations nowadays? Like, one or two of them would be different. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Some things are still in exactly the same place. I found my eyes. I can see! I can see! Hello, not Viola. People still trying to make that connection between Mad Father and the Witch's house. Thank you. That is perfectly okay. Let's see. 13 of 20 gems. That seems like it's on track. Oh. Okay, maybe it was just me. Hmm. Uh, there's this girl again. You sense a presence. We need to do this another time. You can feel something. 
but they're not tangible yet. Just touch it won't make it budge. Different? Solve a looping passage. Hmm. Your sense of presence there. Definitely. You feel something. Definitely don't remember doing this so many times. Just touch it won't make it budge. Oh, no! <laughs> We're reenacting the murder in a way! For goodness sakes! Did that give you peace? Sorry I had to do it this way. <laughs> Child I would not do that! <laughs> oh, no! Now I feel so bad. A lever style switch. The lever's missing! And this door will not budge without the lever. Open large door in basement. Okay, a large mirror. Okay, we'll pick up this gem for ourselves. A large mirror, lovely. Oh, go away! No matter where we are within an RPG Maker Horror game or something similar along the lines, we always get to see a doll of sorts. Oh, blood. Okay, there's water sitting in the sink. Oh, that's spraying out water. Let's see, there's a key in the toilet. Let's pick it up. Oh, we had no hesitation this time around of picking it up. Oh, that's blood now. Okay, wash the key here. Okay, we're braver. For goodness sakes, mother. What are you trying to do this time around? Oh, we can't fit through. Yep, we definitely can't fit through. We can't fit through. We can... We used to fit through there. What? That shouldn't do that. Like, that shouldn't be a thing where if that shadow tries to interact with us, then... Oh, well. You know what? I'm not going to question it. Never mind. Never mind, Jose. Found a scrap of paper. Just like my old self, killing solely out of interest. Then it must run in the family. Yes. Alfred Drebus. Aya Drebus. Anyone begin with the letter A? is a culprit for a demon. Hi. I hope you're fine on this lovely day. How dare you do this? Look. Okay. I don't want to hurt you. And you certainly don't want to hurt me. Don't chase after me, okay? <laughs> Can't break free from those shackles, but you're still going to smash everything up on your way. Large man tied up with rope. Mission objective. Open large door in basement hall. Traverse the underground maze. The bottom one is like our main objective. And the mission above is the objective we need to perform in order to do the other objective. 16 or 20 gems. Okay, I definitely think we're on track. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. Oh, that's a satisfied expression. You should be smashed over here and not be able to do that and usually the uh, usually the body of that old man would be lying from one of those barrels okay lovely lovely okay this puzzle again okay so what we need to do is there 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 and you I was stuck here because I literally thought that these two things that are above us, like where the um, the vertical bars are, where they meet up with that girder thing, I literally thought that was on the floor, so therefore I couldn't go here. <laughs> Just small things here and there that does stuff. Okay. The handcuffs are swinging violently, but they're seemingly not in use. They're locked. Well... We can do that. We can unlock you. Hello. Let's see. What have we got here? Uh, we've got a gem. Lovely. 17 of 20 gems. Locked. Then sell key, anyone? The only difference this time around is that we don't use forceps to clean the key. Good. Over here. Hi. Shh. Up ahead. You can't make a sound. Because if you do... 
that little doll would come and kill us, right? Right? Definitely terrors, but not in the ways I thought it would be. Right, we don't want to saw that. Um, excuse me? Maybe that's the only one in which we cannot control. We don't want to go... Don't want to go... Don't want to be near the mice when it moves. Hi. Nice. <laughs> uh, irony. The cracks in the floor, strong impact could break it. So we just need to make a sound, don't we? There we go. Whoosh. Smash. And in there we find... Hand lever. Lovely. Ah, we skipped that entirely. Because in normal mode, we'd have to make our way back th through there, I believe. I don't know. I went through this game so quickly. <laughs> Let's see what we've got down here. You're still got a satisfied expression. Should I be scared of that? Hi. Crow here. Lovely. And hand lever goes there. And yoink. And that opens up. What other mysteries await? A lack of Monica and a lack of Alfred. Well, hi. You're the only one I can count on. Protect her for me. May you be smart upon. Wow. That definitely explains that little story. That little arc. Of what... Of how Dio met with Monica. You're hungry, but that doesn't sound like a hungry noise. That sounds more like a fart noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So we're not going to get spooked around like... Last time, I believe. Cook sausage. And... Used to be just a bit of pork, but now it's sausage this time around. Carry the sausage. Limited movement. That's fine. You want this, don't you? Again, that does not sound like a stomach noise. Ah, smells just like the sausage I like. Mm-hmm. Mmm, so good. Tastes a lot like mum's. Well, not quite to mum's standards, but it was pretty tasty. I ain't had a bite to eat since I was locked up here. I was starving. Have this. Is it a napkin? Yes. You know, as thanks for giving me good food. Uh, well, um, thanks? I guess- Oh, you're blushing, for goodness sakes. Why is your face all red? Hungry boy in basement cafeteria, and the light just went off. How dare you do that to me? It's not like we're in a horror game or anything like that, where the lights just suddenly go out, or the glass suddenly shatters. Or a ghost suddenly grabs you, like that. Hi. Get away from me. I know you. I know where you're going to come from. Don't think I don't know, and something's behind there. Alright, let's move forward then. Okay, and this is, this won't open, but, obviously you're going to try and, don't be scared, Aya, you know that's going to happen. We can only tap it so many times. Right, hi there. The passage was a little cluttered, so I cleaned it up a bit. Okay, thank you for that. Solve the gimmick group. Ah, an adult version. When we played through the game initially, we were smaller. Just like we would normally go about this day. Okay, so move you. Going to... Hi there. A beautiful doll standing quietly. Sorry, I just need to take off the... I just need to trim a bit of the top off. Doll head. Cool. Take that spear. Then put that you put back to you. Take a banquet. Put you over here. Need to make a hole in the wall. 
And... I believe that's it. There we go. Oh! Okay, that's definitely different. <laughs> oh no! Why are you all so cruel, priests? A doll dressed like a priest. Yes, definitely. No saving that. Okay, let's read this. I like the premises of this, but I don't know why we're to the left rather than just being centered. Different projections of different perceptions. Hmm. Hide these away. Reenacting the story of Alfred's childhood. Who was the original murderer within the family? And then we need to push the mother away so that she doesn't see anything. There we go. Good. This boy looks bored. Well, do something. Anything. Just not murder your mother, for goodness sakes. A doll wearing strange clothes, yes. You do that. We'll take this kitchen knife. We'll give you the kitchen knife. And we will make you not blooded. On the face, anyways. There we go. And then the next one is very simple. We just need to saw the poor girl as if we're reenacting the murder from Alfred. Ouch. And now we're covered in blood. Definitely a bit of our story. I feel like the ending of this game is going to give more different tales. Different tales. Oh, hi. You just had to do that, didn't you? You just had to do that. Oh. Doctor. Well then. Hi. Do you think you can make me better? I have a dream, you know. I want to be a doctor like you. I want to help people suffering from the same illness as me. Do you think I can do that? Hey, doctor. Oh. It was her. I want to keep living. Well, of course we're here. Hmm. Was I passed out? And your perfume's gone. Come to think of it back then. Yeah, that girl definitely took. I still remember you now, too. No malice this time around. We've grown up. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> We've got a bone to pick, if you get what I mean. So now, locked. So then, we definitely need to get the key that's totally in here. Pick it up, and let's not get mauled by rats. Ah, our voice is just a little bit deeper than the child incarnation of Aya. I do like the sound of opening the door, though. That's a nice touch. Poor thing. So he got you. You can't come over to this world just yet. I'll free you. Thank yours. Smash, smash. Smash. Go the rat. And smash out too. Saw that, I mean. They're still smashing it in a way. Get mom's perfume back. Get away from me, you crazy doll. Look. If child me can withstand your force, then you definitely can't break through an adult form as well. Just give it up. Just utterly give it up, Mom's Perfume. Spread on ourselves. Be more ladylike, dignified. Hi. There's a message in blood on the wall. Murderer. Oh, I had something else on there as well, like family related. I just want to be a part of your family, but you denied me. Definitely didn't writ as that, but something along the lines. Hi. It's a nun. And you disappeared. Usually you stay. The door's firmly shut. Okay. 
This is definitely bizarre. So, all of these. Hi. Disgrace of the Drevis family. Who could that be? Interesting question. New law. Good, good, good. A coffin. Beautiful flowers are spread over it. And... Excuse me. We need to, to keep that open. Because... Hi there, doll. It's good to see you again. Don't give me that look. Run from the killer doll, yes. Thank you. We're confined in here at this point in time. Get away from the killer doll. Yeah, I'll try and do that. Sleeping coffin. Hmm. Surprising we could still fit here. And... Hi. Don't be surprised. You know this will happen. Hidden passage. We have a hidden passage, alright. Got herbicide. Apply this to that, because you can't just simply open the door. There we go. And... Hi. Yes. Run for the killer doll. Yay! Pull that too. Nice. Nice. And then what we need to do now is do this quickly. There we go. Ah. In this version of the game, it's more forgiving than the previous build where you have to be literally perfect with your movement. Hi. Hope you do it. Oh, we just got it. <laughs> we just simply got it. Obviously, we can't go through there. We know this. It does remove some of the story if we know what's going to happen. Which is a bit of a downside in a way. But I think at the very end of the game is where the true magic of blood mode is going to unfold. Hi. Don't call me a murderer. I would have done everything wrong to you, you know. Well, except from not accepting you as family and um, being even worse than my own father. I'm talking from Aya Drevis's perspective, by the way. My father is nothing like Alfred Drevis. He helps people rather than kill people. Okay, avoid detection by killer dolls. This time around, we can't be as... Um, can't be as confident with our movement. Hi, what? Don't you do that to me. If we go all the way back to the start. Because you usually can just be side by side to them. But not this time around. Oh, we just managed to avoid that. Good. Hide in here. I think that'll be a window, but no. Hi. Do not be like that, please. Go through here. Cool. A strange doll here. Uh, go down here. Uh, and... Oh. Yeah, you have to do that extremely quickly. You can't be... Diagonally in front of it as well. You're there. Hi. And... Oh. Oh. That's different. Scalpels are stabbed into the doll. Pull out a scalpel. You okay there, little doll? Oh, you looked at me. Don't you do that. You was like that eye bottle before we see Monica for the first time in the game. Doll is broken. Everything shattered. You're here before us, then. But you don't notice us. As long as we're not trying to kill you or approaching you. It was a key in there. We were here just a bit too late. The dog got here before us. Restrain the twin doll. Don't want to saw that barrel, because that's will alert the doll. I wonder if I could reach that chandelier. I believe we could. We use this plank. And then... 
get some sandbags. Huh? I could use those as weights. Yes, let's move some sandbags. But because we're now adults, that means we're heavier. So would we need to put all of the sandbags? Nope, still exactly the same amount of weight. Hmm. Oh, for goodness sakes, that's silly. They were already below us. There we go, that's better. Restrain the twin doll. Now we can sort that. Nothing from there. Cool. Lovely. So now we are... Got two left. Okay, so one from the... Uh, from one of the glass tubes where the mandrakes are, and one from the dog that needs the bone. Okay. Skip this part. Yes, please. I hate puzzles like that. They are so infuriating. Uh, give up for a moment. Uh, because we need an extra piece for that. I'm sorry. I hate those kind of puzzles. They are so randomized. They take too much effort to be able to solve. Got a puzzle piece. Nice. Nice, nice. Don't go near the doggy. Don't the doggy to kill us. Right. Puzzle piece there. Good. That's all. Don't you drip on me. That was a younger me anyways. Let's see. A potted Ardrine. Leave it be. Don't want to uproot it. We'll take the pot though. Good, 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 good. Next, we want to... Normally, we would need some soundproof for our earring. But not this time around. Put that down. Pick that up. And then we need to take refuge somewhere safe. Like in here. Good. As long as we're out of the hallway. Sorry, doggy. But your sacrifice is needed. You're already half dead, as they would call it. Undead. Hellhound. Scalpel. Good. Lovely. Got that. Got incinerator key cool. And... That mandrake's got a little bone for us. Thank you, little man. Cute. It sure is. <laughs> the younger version would comment, is this thing going to kill me or something like that? Okay, that's all broken. Oh, hi. Sorry, little mandrake, but you had something which we need. Right, with that done and out of the way, let's go now and burn the doll first. But first, let's investigate that room. We haven't had enough death yet in the game. I decided to do that. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're missing a bit from the top there, are you? Continue. Ah, oh, that's nice. It has, like, a perma-save ready for you in case of something like that happened. Hi there. Oh, don't you give me that creepy smile. You only give it to me sometimes. Locked. Let's see. Incinerator key. Good. Opened the lock. And this is a familiar sight. It's sprouting with flame. Um, th this is not told to us because we never seen this girl. We just remember it from the past. Hmm, creepy doll. It's the, it's the past, but at the same time it's not the past. It's like a paradox, but except that we're now in adult form. Hi. Why we spawn this time around? This way around. Hmm. I don't know why, but that doll reminds me of Woodenahara from Woodenahara and the Great Blue Sea. Surely I can't be the only one who made that kind of conclusion. <laughs> Just looks like her, that's all. Good, good, good. Skip this part, yes please. I don't want to go through those dolls again. Thank you very much. Anything to save time is a... 
blessing. Ah, oh, it's a younger version of ourselves. What were you doing with that cat? You think you could just simply kill a cat and get away with that? I have that's so cruel. Young Ira, how dare you? Young Ira. Who's Ira? Hmm. If you say so, hi. Yeah, we don't want to be in there with that thing, whatever that thing is. Good. And we have 20 of 20 gems. That is super delightful. You're not going to spawn, are you? Of course not, you wouldn't. You're scared of us now, now that we've got all the power, all the gems. All of something. This way, through this door room again. Oh, do you have a green dress before? Maybe it's just me. Oh, you want to come out again and play, don't you? What the? What is that? A book? A different book of memories. Dear Mr. Jochumretta, I was deeply intrigued by your article. It is true you killed ten people in one night. I would love for us to meet in chat. I await your reply, Monica Drebis. Hmm, scatter letters addressed to a prison. The names indicate they're meant for separate men. Okay. My aunt's life has come to an end. It appears to have been suicide. So that was referred to in the previous room where it's the disgrace of the Drebis family. Now that she couldn't bear the family's persecution. Poor, poor auntie. If only you'd obeyed the rules, your shame wouldn't have been exposed. Disgrace of the Drebis family. I can't understand what auntie was thinking. We were given rights to people whose lives have no value. Surely becoming a sacrifice for the Drebis family will, leave you, will let you leave more of a mark on the world. Mm -hmm. My dear grandfather has left for heaven. On his deathbed, he entrusted everything to me, telling me to look after the Drevis home. No doubt he wanted me to f finally fulfill the long-sought ambitions of the Drevis lineage. Understood, grandfather. I take it all upon myself. Ah, what am I to do? My heart won't stop racing from the thrill of being entrusted with forbidden research. What a wondrous thing. So you could say that Monica was twisted in her, in her own ways. And here. Grandmother told me I shouldn't take Grandfather's last request seriously. According to her, eternal beauty has to do with leaving descendants to live into the future. However, I want to honor Grandfather's wish. Yeah, of course, Grandmother's as well. What then should I do? That is a good question. I love this other trails of memory, by the way. Per grandfather and grandmother's wishes, Aya is growing up very well. Were grandfather alive, I suspect he would have made her study all through the day. I want to see, her his, see out her his wish, but I don't want to make Aya suffer, so I will continue to let her be free. I'm sure it'll be fine, however. I believe in her. I know she'll become a fine successor to the driver's name. Alfred didn't want that, but Monica accepted that and this this was a fresh rope with no sign of use hmm. a letter why will you not reply i understand you're busy but i just want the slightest reply do you doubt me perhaps my feelings are real i would never lie about them i adore you i love you perhaps you'll hate me for writing it but when I see your madness, my heart flutters. When we first met, you tried to kill me. Just as I was about to die, my heart was pounding. I've never experienced such thrills before. I shiver even thinking back on it. But the things are not fear. They are of love. But even then, it was you I wanted. Who is sending these? That's a mystery in itself. Who sent those? And that doll won't try and stop us. 
What's this? It is the black hole that'll go to the underworld. I, I'm gonna get it. Remember those memories? He's up ahead. And of course, the father isn't. So, Ogre isn't here. We don't need to go back there. We've got all of the gems. Leap into the other world. So, as long as you have that, we should be fine to go. This I'm so excited for. Ogre, you're not going to spawn, okay? You're not going to comment on our actions. We don't have holy water this time, though, so that's a thing. Hmm. I wonder if there's some other way to save her. Got magic water. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. We've got magic water and other means. Well, we didn't witness the other events. Where is this? I, uh... Father? Sure enough, it's you, father. You've grown, Aya. Uh, I missed you. I missed you too, father. But of course you're gonna try and kill us. Sure enough, I can't change how I feel. <laughs> Let's see. What can we do while we're here? I've done it. I've done the save thing. It won't open. Uh, yeah. Will you shut up? Okay, so things are definitely different. Alfred de definitely sees Aya as the adult form. Helping me again, huh? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Get away. This is the time of maturity in which Alfred wants to see Aya grow up in before he decides to kill her and transform her into a doll. So this in a way is an even more evil form of Alfred because this is the desired form in which he desires Aya to be in. Get away you. I don't want any of your sus. I've been through this many times, okay? I don't need your betrayal. Hi. Hi. Both the same one as well. Oh, that doll was serving you, yet you killed it. How dare you. Oh. And he just leaped what was about 10 feet, 20 feet of flooring. Oh, we went right this time. Huh. That is definitely strange. Hmm. Get away from me. You stop. Go on, sure. Oh, hi. Nicely stopped there. Good. And it's out of power, for goodness sakes. The little chainsaw only had so much power to give. Oh, we could move that. Yeah, we don't need to try and find them, means. I gotta get it. Shut up. I don't want you. No. Uh, yeah. Close the door. And... Oh, hi there. Uh, yeah. And you're going to peer through that gap, aren't you? Yes, come Boom. on. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> not that scary. Scary to first-time players, but not when you've done this ten or so times throughout your lifespan. Right, what else is there? Hmm. Why am I running when I only have one wish? Found you, Aya. Hmm. That's enough of our game of tag, Aya. I have to keep you still, don't I? I don't want to hurt you, Aya. It's a shame. But I could cover your leg with a your leg with a skirt easily enough, so it should be fine, Aya. Don't worry, Father and Aya will always be together now. So rest in peace. Hmm. I love you too, Father. But <laughs> there hasn't been a single day I wasn't reminded of you and Mother. Sure enough, I want to be with you both, so you can do as you like, Mistress. 
That voice, Maria. Please open your eyes, mistress. I can't leave Maria behind. Magic water? If I use this... <laughs> oh, I, yeah? <laughs> Dispel father instead. And... I, uh, father. I understand now why you wanted to turn me into a doll father. Because living is so painful. But you can't stop me. What happened that day is burning to my mind. I couldn't forget it even if I wanted to. That must be the curse of the Drevis family. I... yeah. I'm going to live, father. I'll go on carrying this curse for your sake too. Aya. Alfred did not want that. Aya, be happy. So in a way, we've destroyed Alfred. He's no longer in the other world. Maybe. Mistress. Mistress! Hi there. Maria! Mistress! So the antidote worked! Thank goodness. I'm sorry for worrying you. If you think I'll let you leave it as sorry, you're gravely mistaken. What if I were to lose you, I'd... Don't cry, Maria. I cannot stand for suff such suffering befalling you, mistress. I should find that old woman in the Black Hood and terminate her. You don't have to do that. I'm sure that old lady was a god of death. Sure enough, the gods are watching us. <laughs> as much as we resist, I doubt we can escape. But I'm fine with that. Whatever awaits us in the future, I'm ready to accept all of it. Hey Maria, even being as I am, will you still will you stay with me? You asked me that after all this time. My resolve has not budged one bit since that night. I shall accompany you anywhere, mistress. Ah. <laughs> that's what you true. Well, that's what you call true friendship. Aya, may you be smiled upon. That was Monica's wish. Hey, I expected a little bit more change throughout the story when it says something like. I forgot what the uh, blood mode actually said in the synopsis, but it was like a different scenario in its own way. But I don't know why I expected it to be in a different location. Like, it was, in a way, a sequel, but at the same time, it wasn't a sequel. It's it's events that happen after the events of Mad Father, but in the same way, it's still the same events, but just rewritten. But I love that. I love going through this game again, and definitely different from the normal route of Mad Father that we would all become used to when playing throughout the game. But this music is so loud! <laughs> Super loud! I wonder if it's going to be different events now that we've got all 20 gems in the blood mode. Like that in a way is great. So definitely new lore and definitely different puzzle mechanics. And the thing that I found most intriguing and most mystique was the second set of memories when you opened up that book and when you proceed through those memories. You're not going through the events of what your, well, what Aya's father went through, but instead it was in a way of going through more of the past in the family, but it wasn't the perspective of just one person, it was the perspective of, I believe, Aya's grandparents. End. Hmm. What awaits now? Clear record. Continues use one. Mode blood. Gems collected. So, I originally portrayed this as a more difficult version of Mad Father, but it's not really a more difficult version. It just has additional lore to it. Ah, <laughs> Lovely. A different portrait there. Let's see. Museum. Hmm. Characters. Aya Drevis. Aya Drevis. 
Aya, matured into a grown woman, runs a clinic with Maria out in the mountains. Doesn't resonate with true purpose behind a clinic, though, which is obviously to mutilate people and to make them into dolls as well. Ah, that's a bless. Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the female protagonist in uh, Misao when she is smiling to Misao in that final portion of the game. You know where Aki is smiling at Misao, saying they'll be friends forever and stuff like that? That's what that smile reminds me of. So I'm not sure if that is a homage to Misao, but I'm glad that it is. And speaking of Misao, is there going to be a, uh, a rebuild of that game like the developer has of this game? Very intriguing. Very, very intriguing all together. So yeah, most of these would transpire throughout the normal version of the game. And then there's also the if mode, which... In which that would appear in, we've never seen that portrait in the... Um, the normal and blood mode of the game. It's only in the if mode of the game where that would happen. And that's taken the perspective of Dio, which is this boy here. And then these subjects as well, who are all victims of Alfred Drebus and his misdeeds. BGM, we know which ones are here. And I think my personal one is called Light Left. And, okay, I just haven't been able to... Um, do the bad end where we chose to let mother live behind you eerie slip chills mother's form that eye on a corpse eye on a corpse two on a corpse three puzzle falling puppet yeah that would appear in the bad ending gallery different alliterations here All beautiful works. Dollmaker. Hmm. Quit. Fit around with that. Main illustrations. So we can get different menus. Wow. That. Oh, beat game with zero continues. Okay. Okay, that gives us a... If only if I did not... Uh, actually, that's easy enough. All I had to do is um, not go into that room and die. So that's a thing. So I don't think there is anything else to this game besides unlocking that. Like, I wouldn't think there would be an extra mode unlocked after getting this on the menu screen. Hmm. Fade it out. Cut it in. Never seen this before. Definitely the colored version. So that, folks, is Blood Mode of Mad Father. Hope you enjoyed this, folks, as much as I have. If there is anything else in the game, I will cover it. But I need you guys' help because I don't want to plow through another two hours or so of trying to find... A very, very minute fragment of a game that is different. But I hope you enjoyed Mad Father Blood Mode. And we shall see each other in the next video. Whatever, whatever the game that may be. Thank you so much for watching folks and take care of yourselves.